The rivalry in men's 100 meters sprinting will reach fever pitch at Jamaica National Trials during the month of July. We will again see the lights of Akeem Blake, who just ran a personal best of 9.89 wind assisted and 9.87 seconds, and in that process taking down one of the world's best sprinter Christian Coleman of the United States. Also at the Jamaica Trials, we should have oblique Seville, although a big question signs is around him because the last we heard, he was nursing an injury to his leg. Let's keep our fingers crossed that he does turn up at the national trials to try and make the team for Budapest because most Jamaican track fans is looking to him to spearhead the male's sprint team. Next up, we should have the veteran Yoen Blake who have performed well at past trials. In fact, he won the 2022 national trials beating Oblique Seville and Akeem Blake while posting a time of 9.85 seconds. Let's not forget that Johan Blake is the second fastest man on earth with a time of 9.69 second tied with Tyson Gay of the United States. Someone might hasten to say though that he is nowhere near those forms right now. He's more looking to retire from the sport. Let's wish him well. Another fast rising star is Kadrian Goldson who looked very impressive this season with a sprinting style similar to that of Asafa Powell with his high knee lift. Rounding out the field, we should have Schoolboy and Krumi coming off a big personal best of 9.99 seconds posted a few weeks ago. However, I am hoping that he is in good condition to run fast because he suffered a terrible leg injury not too long ago, but we are hoping that is ready to run because he's one that demonstrated killer acceleration of raw speed and power. After all, he is also known as Dr. Speed. Rounding out the field, we should have a host of young upcoming talents. We saw some of them in the recently concluded all-comers meeting, and they were very impressive. One would hope that some of these athletes can make the ascension from local to professionals in terms of track and field. The Jamaican team, both male and female this year, were plagued with injuries to some key athletes, but one would hope that these injuries were dealt with professionally and that the athlete would have recovered and is ready to deliver. After all, Budapest will be electric and epic. I suspect that records will be broken and the excitement will reach fever pitch. The Jamaican team is in a good position to medal in the 100 meters male sprint for the first time after the retirement of the world record holder Usain Bolt. What do you think? Do you believe that the Jamaican male team can come away with a few medals? Do you think that Akeem or Oblique can defy the odds and be victorious over their rivals, the mighty Americans? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment. Also, please remember to subscribe to the channel to be notified and get all the track and field updates. God bless and walk good, my friends.